all. Just once again, I will revise the last question, what we have done. So we have solved that question in two ways. So I think uh, you all, you all, all of you have solved it, is it yes? So what is the given question? The given function acceleration is equal to x square they have given. And they said that what they're asking us to find, find the velocity when x is at what? x is, x is, yes. And same way, given that at x equals to zero, what is that? Body is at, what is it what guys? Displacement is zero means. Rest. So if the body is at rest means, in that case, what is the velocity? Velocity is zero. X is equals to also zero. Place, zero. And they're asking, if X is equals to two, then what is the, what is the what? Velocity. Okay. Velocity. So the given function we all know, acceleration is equals to, we all know the formula. So what is the formula of acceleration? dv by dv by dt by dt okay so now i can say so dv by dt is equals to what x square as it is uh, acceleration yes or no guys yes please yes sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, so this one in dv by dt i can write in such a way that also very carefully so that is acceleration formula acceleration formula i can write like this so dv by dt I'll multiply in both numerator and denominator with the dx into dx. Is it right or wrong? Any, any wrong in that? Anything wrong? Yes. No, sir. no. Then I will write dy by dt, uh, uh, sorry, dx divided by dt as separately. So I'll write dy by dx into dx by dt. Is it anything wrong? Yes. Pradosh? Correct on yeah. Yes or no? So we are displacement by time. You see what? Displacement by time means what it will give you? Well, 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 so can I write instead of acceleration, instead of dv by dt, can I write it as a dv by dx into v is equals to acceleration? Yes or no? All of you? Yes, sir. So that is what I can write. Now, you can see from this I can write v dv v dv is equals to dx is in division will come this side what will become multiplication so v dv is equals to what will come v dv is equals to x square x square, x square dx. Dx. so we have been done that sir you might be asked sir why are you using this formula because we want what we want velocity only yes sir no guys yes please All yes, sir. that is yes, sir. So that is the reason we are finding that okay so V dv. So now you can apply in limits. Is it a definite integration or indefinite integration? Limits we know. Zero to V, that is what velocity V dv is equals to. So what is that? Zero to V equals zero to what? Two. Two. Zero to two. Zero to two. Square. Two, two. That is what? X square dx. You can apply the roots now here. So what is the roots will come? V dv means what will come? V square by? V square by two. Uh, v square by two. Yes or no? V yes, sir. 1 plus 1 divided by 1 plus 1. That is what. So limits is what? 0 to V square. 0 to V limit, which is equals to here. X square means what? X cube divided X cube by, by 3. 0 to 2 is the limit. Yes or no? So then you can apply the yes. formula. So what will come? Substitute the 0 for 2 first. So V square, V this one I am writing. So in V square divided by 2 minus 0. So 0 square divided by 2 which is equals to, what will come? Here substitute it, all of you. X square means two square, two cube. Okay. X cube means two cube. Two cube divided by three minus zero cube divided by three. So what will come? Everybody, this one. V square by two is equals to two cube. Two per two cube means what? Eight by three. Yes, please. Let me take two cube by, eight three. by three. Yeah, eight by three. So now I'll say, so V square is equals to this one, eight by three. This two is in division will come this side. What will become? Multiplication. So which is equal to 16 by 3. Yes or no? V square is equal to 16 by yes, 3. Sir. Then V is equal to what will happen? 16, no, by, no, 16. 16 by 3, which is equal to root 16 by root 3. So which is equal to what will happen? 4 by? 4 by 3. 4 by, four root, by root 3. 4 by root 3. Then I will write the answer. I will multiply both numerator and denominator with the root 3. Four, three, three, three. Which is equals to what is the answer? 
From here, we can solve in another manner, which we solved in before. What is that? Uh, finding the C value. If you take, it is indefinite, uh, indefinite integration. So we can find the C value and we can solve. So we all know R. So integration of V dV is equal to, what is the formula? Integration of X dX. Yes, yes, no? Yeah, you can substitute it. So V square by 2, which is equal to X cubed by 3, plus no limits are there. No limits means what will come? Plus C. So we all know V is equal to 0, X is equal to 0. Then if we substitute it, 0 square by 2 plus 0 cube by 3 plus C. Oh, sorry, equals to C. Here equals to. Equals to C. C. Now what will happen? 0 is equals to 0 plus C. C is equals to everybody. Oh. Yes, zero. Then, what is the function? This is the function. So you can you can substitute t equals to what? Directly, t is equal to x. X equals to what? Displacement to two. Two. Then v square by two is equals to two cube by three. Okay, because x here x guys, please remember that. It two cube by three. Then what will come? V square is equals to eight by three into two, which is equals to sixteen by three. From here onwards, we know the story. What is the story? It is, it is equals to 4 root, 4 3, root 3, by 3, 3 by 3 meter per second. Everybody is clear? That is what we have been done yesterday's class. So you can follow this method or another method. Whatever you are, you are convenient, you can do it. Is it okay? Asida, Mani and Samaya? Yes? No response. Okay. Yes, sir. Next, keep it in. Motion in a straight line. I think I forgot to record. Oh, okay. It's recording. So motion in a straight line. Now we are going to derive in our today's class, very important concept, derivation of equations of motion, derivation of equations of motion using integration. So class 9th, I taught you by using graphical method as well as algebraic method. Yes or no, everybody? So of course here it's yes, not sir. there. So class 9th, if you go back, you might be studying. That's what whenever you have free time, revise the 9th class. So equations of motion, we people have done with the help of graphical method. Okay. And as well as algebraic method. So, but now we are using, we all know equations of motion by these methods. Equations of motion. But now how we are solving? By using a, yes, please. Integration. Yes or no? So let us write yes, the sir. equations of motion. What are the equations of motion? First equation, V equals to U plus AT. Next, second equation, S equals to UT plus, UT plus half AT square. square. S equals to UT plus half AT square. Next, third one, V square is equals to U square plus 2A. U square plus 2A. These are the three equations of motion. Yes, everybody knows. Yes or no? Hello? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So let us discuss now. There are the first equation of motion. We all know. So what is the first equation of motion? V equals to U plus A T. Clear, everybody? Now, A here is traveling with a constant acceleration. Constant acceleration. Or we can say uniform acceleration. What do you mean by uniform acceleration, Pradosh? Velocity changing how? Uniformly or non-uniformly? Uniformly. Uniformly. Understanding? That is one. So let me take a body is moving in a uh, moving in a particular direction. Who is having initial velocity is u at that point t is equals to zero. Time is equals to what? Everybody? Time zero. is equals to zero. Now within a time period of time, so like t is equals to t seconds. So body attains a velocity of v. So that is what V means, what we used to call initial velocity or final velocity? Final. Final. final velocity. So now we all know so already, acceleration means, can you tell me the formula, which we already studied, acceleration means, dv by delta v by dv by dt. Delta v by delta t. Yes, or, delta t. or we can say, acceleration is equals to dv by, very, very small, dt. dt. dv by dt. Yes or no? Now. DT, you come this side. What will become everybody? So DV is equals to ADT. Any doubt? A -D -T. Yes? All of you? Now apply the integration. Yes. So integration of DV, which is equals to integration of ADT. Any problem, anybody? Yes, please? No, sir. All of you? Now, 
what is the what is the velocity changes check it everybody here what is the velocity changes limits it what is the velocity is those initial velocity u final velocity is what v now v. time time you check it what is the limitations t is equal to 0 t. to t equals to t 0 to t understood alaksha asvita how to take limit yes, that is what so you apply that integration we all know in that uh, uh, sorry integration of dx what is the formula yesterday also we studied yes, yeah, integration of dx is what Yes. Yes. Same integration yes. means what? Integration v. means v and bracket what will come? Initial velocity, final velocity, limitation. Next, here, a is the constant. We already assumed. a is equal to what, everybody? Like constant, suppose, 2 into dt. Then what will happen? 2 will come and dt will be function. Out. So tell me, what will happen? So 2 dt means what is the function? 2t. Is it SR now, everybody? Same way here. A will come out yes. integration of dt. So, 0 dt. to t. So, what will happen? Here, final velocity minus initial velocity will come. Is it okay? Wa? Substitution regression, which is equals to here, A into t. Is it okay? Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes. So, what will happen next step? A into t minus 0, which is equals to at. Any doubt? Ha? Any problem? V minus u. No, sir. Clear, everybody? Now, minus u will come this side. What will become? Plus u plus a t. That's all the first equation. I got it, Pradosh. So if you want to derive the first equation, you have to remember acceleration equals to what? dv by dt. dt. If you remember that, you can solve for mm -hmm. Clear everybody? Anyone having any doubt, you can ask. All of you understand? Samya, Manya, nothing responding. Okay, Va? Yes, sir. Any doubt, Rudreshwa? Next, second no, equation. If you want to derive the second equation by using integration, we all know what is the second equation? S equals to ut plus ut plus half a dt. Okay, so let us see that we all know. So we want distance. So distance will come from where? In differentiation of velocity, or different, sorry, integration of velocity, or integration of acceleration. Which one will give you? Distance will give you distance and displacement will give you what, guys? Velocity, what it will give you? Acceleration. Velocity. That is velocity. Should understand our Laksha, how to take? Yes, sir. ds by dt. So velocity means ds by dt. So we all know velocity is equals to delta s by delta t. Or we can say v is equals to ds by dt. Yes, sir, no? dt. So that is what you have to remember. Now, so let us take the body is traveling with a constant velocity. So that velocity is initial velocity, u. So understand, uh, please respond. It is moving with the yes, sir. constant. Sir. UV yes, sir. constant, I am assuming. So that initially, what is the distance covered by a body? Initially, distance covered by a body, what? Zero. And time is equal Zero. to? Zero. 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 Yeah. As it is moving with a constant a constant velocity. What is the acceleration, Rudreshwa? Constant acceleration. Constant. Constant velocity. Zero. No. Zero. Constant velocity means graph will be like this, parallel to x-axis. Parallel to x-axis which means what is the acceleration? A is equals to? Zero. Zero meter. Zero. Remember, brother? Yes. Sir. So A is equals to zero. But distance, it will be having. Distance covered by the body is? Yes. Clear? And time is equals to T. Is it okay, Ra? Rudreshwa? So distance yes, covered by a body is yes. And the time is equals to zero. Sorry, time is equals to T. And the acceleration must be zero. Why acceleration zero? Because? Body is moving with what? I love you. Constant velocity. Constant. Sorry, constant velocity. Velocity is constant means no change in velocity. No change in velocity means what? Acceleration is what? I love you. Zero. Zero. Now you Zero. modify this one. Can I write this one as ds is equals to vdt? Is it right or wrong? Yes, please. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The integration. So ds is equals to integration of vdt. Can you tell me what is the formula will come? I love you. Tell me fast. Integration of what is the limits, Ra? Limits what? Verify it. Zero to yes. Distance. Clear, Ra? Yes. Yeah. Distance Sir. zero to yes of ds, which is equals to integration of velocity limits. Can you tell me? Zero to time by dt. T. Zero, to, zero t. to t. dt. Is it okay, Laksha? Yes. yes. Now, observe very carefully. From the first equation, Ashwita, anything doubt, Ashwita, Ishali? From the first equation, no, v, sir. v is equals to what? Everybody, from the first equation, v is equals to? So, 
Q plus eighty. Q plus eighty. So in place of V, can I write this one? Will you all accept it? Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. That is one. So integration of zero to s of ds, which is equals to integration of zero to t. V means what I can write. This one u plus eighty. Clear? Ah, sorry. Ah. Now this is like a plus b. So split the integration. So zero to t u to t plus integration of zero t t. What is that? A t d t. Is it okay? Ah. A t d t. Yes, sir. So apply it now here. U is constant. We already assumed U is constant. So constant will come out or not? Everybody. Yes, sir. So zero to t. So u d. Uh, sorry, d t. Next, we all know acceleration is also constant. Yes, we already assumed so no acceleration. So a is also constant. So zero to t. What will happen? T d t. Any doubt? Please respond. So now integration of to no. s d s. So integration of zero to s d s. What will happen? Apply the yes. 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 Sir. So no. Next, this one. Integration of dt. What will happen? T. T. Zero to t plus a. Integration of t dt. What will happen? T square by two. T square by two. Understanding? Zero to t. Any doubt? Ah. No, sir. Any doubt? You can ask me. That's all. Next. You can make it. So here, apply the substitute the limits. S minus zero. Here also, u into t minus zero. Plus a into here what will come? T means again t only I can substitute it. So t square by t square by two minus zero square minus by two. Zero by two. Okay. So which is equals to u into zero minus t t plus a into t square by two. Okay, wah. Well, that is what. So s is equals to u t plus this half I can bring front. Is it okay, brothers? Yes. Okay, wah. Well. Understood? Any doubt, girls, boys? Please kindly let me know. Are you all yes, understood? Sir. Yes. Yes, sir. If you have anything doubt, please let me know. See, the, your understanding is very very important for me. So I hope you everybody able to derive by integration. Yes, brothers. Are you clear? Yes, sir. Okay. If you are clear, then that's fine. Now, so if you want to derive the second equation, you have to remember that who is constant. V U is constant and as velocity is constant. yeah velocity is constant initial velocity that's what you have to remember that so next third equation if you want to if you want to solve the third equation keep it in mind you need to know second formula of acceleration what is the second formula of acceleration everybody yes please if you want to find this equation you need to know second formula of acceleration what is that anybody dv by dt into v dv by dx dv by dx or dt or dv by dx, DX sir. into v dx into understood ah we all know so dv by dt so we will multiply with the dx by dx and we will write this one dx by dt is equals to what velocity yes, sir now yes please yes, sir. that is how yes, we got sir. the acceleration formula yes are you all agree with that that is now here yes, x means what we all know so x means what displacement yes, sir no guys so according to that tell me So acceleration is equals to what will come? Everybody, acceleration is equals to. I will take dv by dx or ds or ds. Yes. yes. Sorry, ds is like dt. Dv by dt. dt. So displacement is ds divided by ds. Now ds divided by dt. What I can write? Everybody, dv by ds into velocity. what? Velocity. Into. Understand? So that is what which is equals to acceleration. Now. So I can write acceleration a is equals to v dv by ds. Now ds is in multiple division. Will come this side. What will become? Multiplication. 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 So a ds is equals to integration of v dv. Is it okay, wa? So what are the limits for s, ra? Yes. What are the limits for s? Ds zero to yes. Zero velocity, to yes. Velocity dv velocity. What are the limits? U to v. U to v. v. Okay, wa? V. Yes. Yes, sir. Love you. That is what. So now substitute it. So A D S. What is the A D S? A is the constant. So A is the constant. A into integral. Yeah, zero into S into D S. So which is equals to here. No constant. So what will happen? V square by two. Understand the initial velocity, final velocity. Okay, Rav Pradosh. Mm -hmm. Okay, then A into S zero to S, which is equals to here. Substitute the limits. 
What will happen? First, v square. So, v square by 2. Next, minus u square. u square by 2. Is it okay? Wa? By two. Everybody? Yes, and sir. here also substitute the limit. Yes, k into s minus 0, which is equals to v square minus u square. LCM, I will take it as a 2. Is it any problem? Yes. No, sir. So, then it will turns into what? As is equals to v square minus u square divided by 2. Two. Tell me, 2 is in division. Will come this side, what will become? All of you. 2a is equal to v square minus u square. From that, can I write v square is equals to u square plus 2as? Is it right or wrong? Asvita? Yes, sir. Tell me. That's it. Okay. So, in such a way, yes, using integration, we people can solve all the three equations of motion. Hope you are all very clear. Anyone having anything down, please kindly let me know. Is it okay, guys? Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah, please complete till here. Everybody. Clear? So, for solving the third equation, all of you remember, you have to remember, body is traveling with the initial velocity u and it will attain the final velocity after certain acceleration, a is equals to a. So, initial case, initial velocity 0, distance equals to 0. And after, after attaining the velocity v, what is the distance travel? S is equals to everybody, limits, guys. Limits s is equals to what? Zero to yes. Understood, Ra? S is equals yes, to sir. zero. S is equals to yes. Limits. Next initial velocity is u and final velocity is v. Velocity limits. Is it okay? Clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So v square is equals to u square plus two a s. That's all. This is the three equations of motion. I hope you all understood how to solve by using by using integration okay wa? so now i'll i'll teach you two sums now then from there next class will proceed displacement time graph as well as velocity time graph and as well as acceleration time graph totally how many graphs displacement time graph velocity time graph and as well as next one what yes acceleration time graph clear so first write the question Difference between displacement and distance. This displacement and distance. I'll show you. We already know distance between displacement and distance. Can you tell me what is the distance? Displacement and distance. Everybody? I love you. What is the distance? And distance, distance? Scalar quality. distance means dis distance is a scalar quantity and displacement is a what quantity? Second equation, what is the second equation? Ut plus half a t square. Then my immediate question, either it is a displacement or either it is a distance. Clear? Distance means dist, displacement means dasp. Is it okay, Pradosh? Pradeshwa? Sure. This is what you have to do. Now, so let us see. How to find it, which is distance and which is displacement. So let's start now, everybody. Yes. For example, let me consider if yes. a bird is flying. So for example, let me take a small bird. I'm not good in much of the good in drawing. So let me take now. So a bird is flying now uh, in, a, in a sky. Please mute yourself. A bird is flying. Mania. What happened? Focus here. So, bird is flying in a sky. All of you observe. Okay. Yes, please. So, the function, the motion of the, the bird is V is equals to 2 minus 2. Understand the given function is what? Bird. The bird which is flying. Okay. Everybody, please respond. Sir. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What is the bird flying? Everyone. So, they are saying that. I will draw nicely so that you can understand. Is it okay? Bird, is it good? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. So, bird is flying in the sky. Okay. So, what is the function? Velocity of the, velocity of the bird is given is what? V equals, to, v equals to T minus 2. Now, they are asking, find out the distance covered. Find out distance covered. Okay. In 0 to 4 seconds. In between 0 to how many seconds? All of you? Second. Okay. Sorry, Manya. Ishali, from you are nice. Sorry, Manya. Okay. 
Vishali, what happened? Just take care. That's fine. So now, distance covered in 0 to 4 seconds. We have already done. We know 0 to 4 seconds means time is equals to 0, time is equals to 1, time is equals to 2, time is equals to 3, and time is equals to what, guys? Everybody? 4. four. Then substitute it and tell me what is that? Everybody? First find. If time is equals to 0, everybody find first velocity we should know. Because if you know velocity only, we can find the distance. Yes or no, brothers? Distance and displacement? That is what. So, t is equals to 0. Then what is the velocity? Everybody? Velocity is? Minus 2. If t is equals to 1, what is the velocity? T minus 1. Minus 1. If t is equals to 2, what is the velocity? 0. Zero. zero. Yes, please. All of you. Velocity is? 0. Yes, sir. If t is equals to 3, what is the velocity? 1. 1. one. If t is equals to 4, what is the velocity? 2. Yes, everybody. Velocity is equals to what? 2. Understood? Uh? All of you observed? Uh? So, what is the question they yes. are asking? What question they are asking? Distance? Distance? Cover. Cover. Well, let us, yeah, let us see that. So, S is equals to, we all know. S is equals to, what is the distance covered formula? We all solved it actually. Do you remember? Please respond before question and all. S is equals to, what is the formula we got? Here, check it. S is equals to, what we got it? S is equals to V D T. Yes sir, no? Sir. That is what? S is equals to V D T. D S equals to actually. So what is what? S. So S is equals to V D T. That is what uh, you have to remember. So S is equals to V D T. Now can you tell me the limits, Laksha? Limits what? They are saying 0 to 4. 4. And V equals to they have given. V equals to what? T minus 2 D T. Is it okay guys? Yes. yes, sir. Then apply the integration. So apply this integration and tell me. Integration of t, what will happen? t square by 2 minus integration of 2 dt. What are those? Integration of 2 dt. 2 t. 2 t. 2 t. That is what Laksha, Laksha learned so that she is saying very fastly. Others are not saying. 0 to 4. Is it okay, guys? Yes, please. Yes, sir. All of you. Then substitute it, everything. Everybody. One time positive, one time negative. Make it fast, everybody. So, t equals to 4 first. So, 4 square by 2 minus 2 into 4. Okay. Again, bracket of minus of again 0. 0 square by 2 minus 2 into 0. So, that's what it is. So, which is equals to 16 by zero. 2 minus 2 into 4, 8. So, 2 ones are 2 eights are. So, finally, 8 minus 8. So, 8 minus zero. 8 means. 8 minus 8 means what is that everybody? 0. All of you. 8 is 8, 0. So now we got 0. So now tell me, is it distance is 0 anytime? Is it possible to make the distance 0? No, sir. Distance will never be no. 0. So who can be 0? Displacement will be 0. So now what I got here, S equals to 0. So is it a displacement or distance? Displacement. displacement. All of you, displacement. Any doubt? All of you? No, sir. Yes. Understand? Ah? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, so observe very carefully. Now, so we found displacement, but what we have to calculate here? Distance? Distance covered. Distance covered. So let's all now how to find distance, everybody? Yes. yes, please. Now, how to find the distance? Let us observe very carefully. At a particular case, this case alone, velocity become how much? Check it, everybody. Velocity become what? Velocity become zero. zero. Now, zero. I will give you one point. Keep it in mind. If wherever velocity becomes zero, not this point, brothers, where v is equals to zero, just do integration before and after. Just do integration. Okay. Integration before and after to calculate the what? Distance and displacement. Is it okay, everybody? Yes, please. Distance and as well as what? Displacement. Pradosh understood. Ah? Wherever we become zero, you have to do just integration just before and as well as integration just before and after. So and here and here we have to do the integration. So we we'll start now, everybody. So yes. becoming zero. What is the time interval regress for t two becoming zero? T two t equals to zero to t equals to two. Two. Understanding? So then. Two. Then from there, t, t equals to 2 to t equals to 4. Clear? 
Now, if you do the integration before, you will get the distance. And if you do the integration after, you will get the what? Displacement. Z, displacement. Okay. Yes, please. Because we all know so displacement may be zero or may be negative. But distance, distance will never, never be, be zero. And never be zero. Zero also. Negative. Yeah. Understand around? Well, yes, yeah. sir. That is what. Yes, sir. Solve the question now. So, what is the statement I have written here? Everybody read. Just do the integration before and after. And after. To calculate what? To calculate distance, distance and displacement. Distance and displacement. Very, very important. So, if you do the before, you will get the distance. If you do the after, you will get the dis uh, uh, displacement. So, uh, let us apply. So, S is equals to, we all know, integration of what is the limits? Can you tell me now? 0 to t dt which is equals to integration of 0 to 2 what is the v value everybody t minus 2 dt yes or no mm -hmm. respond so what is the tabular column will come respond fastly t square by 2 minus 2 dt is it okay sorry 2t limit c is 2 2 so apply that what will happen 2 square by 2 minus 2 into 2 next minus of 0 square by 2 minus 2 into 0. Just is 0 does not have value. I am just writing it to understand it. So 4 by 2 minus 4. So what is the answer? Everybody. Respond please. Minus 2. Minus 2. Huh? Minus, 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 minus 2. So that is what? So you will get minus 2. Now you tell me. Distance. Is it possible to distance? Distance is negative. Everybody. No, yes. No, sir. No, sir. So distance never be. Never be. Negative. negative. But we people got displacement is zero already. Means in a sense of body finally reaches to where? Body finally reaches to where? When the displacement is zero. For example, Mr. Rudres was from point A and he went to point B. And again he came back to point A. Then what is the what is the displacement? Everybody done by him? Zero. Zero. Understand to those? So means in the sense of so let me take same point. He traveled two meters. Understanding? Minus two meters. Okay, wow. He traveled minus two meters and again he came back to become zero means again how many meters he will travel to become zero displacement again he will travel plus two, two. Plus, two. Two. plus two so that but distance will never be negative so that what is the total distance covered by him total distance two covered meters. by him two, two, meter. hey, four, 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 meter. four, right four meters. meters yeah so this total distance is equals to two plus two which is equals how many meters all of you Four meters. Four meters. So the distance covered by him is how much, guys? Four meters. Four meters. Yeah. Four meters. That is what. So displacement may be what? Displacement definitely may be zero or negative. So already we got negative. displacement. How much it is? Displacement shown by the body. Everybody? Zero. Zero. Understanding? Now we are going to find again distance by applying after the zero. After the zero, what is the time interval? Respond, everybody t square by 2 minus 2t. What is the time interval? 2 to? 2 to 4. 2 to 4. Understand? 2 to 4. Yeah. So 4 yes. square by 2 minus 2 into 4 minus of again 2 square by 2 into 2 minus 2 into 2. So what will happen? 16 by 2 minus 8. Next what will happen? Minus of 4 by 2 minus 4. Yes or no guys? Yes sir. So 2 ones are 2 twos are. So this one, zero, it, this one will become what? Zero. Yes or no? Zero minus. minus two. Yes, zero minus two minus four. So which is equals to what will happen? Minus of minus. Two. Yes or no, guys? Minus of minus two means, what two. is the answer? Plus two. Plus, plus, two, plus two, two Of course, it is plus or minus two meters because minus two backward direction and plus two forward direction. So that is why total displacement what? Initial point is equals to final point. Initial point and final point are both are same. So means in the sense of what is the displacement, everybody? Displacement Zero. shown by the body. Everybody respond, guys. Displacement shown by the body is Zero. Is it okay? Anything doubt? Yes, sir. This you can ask. Are you all clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So that is what about uh, today's class. So it's only derivation of equations of motion and as well as now, have you understand how to find it, everybody? Yes, distance yes, and displacement. So that is what very important. So which is distance and which is displacement, you have to make it. Next, we are going to see in next class, as I already told you, 
we are going to study the most important one now onwards competency questions will increase like which is coming in j and neat okay that is what displacement time graph velocity time graph and as well as next one is what the acceleration acceleration time graph acceleration time graph okay rudresh sir yes yes sir. yeah so till here you study then from here tomorrow will continue so tomorrow will be like a interesting and a good lecture actually it is what uh, based upon fully graphs drawing this is the and all so after that if possible tomorrow only we will solve some neat questions or else they have to tomorrow we solve and then we'll move to the last concept of this chapter that is what uh, uh, motion under the gravity that is what uniform acceleration motion after once uniform accelerated motion then the reverse question uh, river and boat questions will come you might decide 10th class mass same direction that uh, direction of boat is uh, down downstream upstream and all have you remember yes, moving in the same direction yes, of water yes, opposite direction of water that is all will come here again okay? okay so that is all about it about uh, today's class i hope you are all clear anybody having anything doubt you can ask me or else you can leave from the meeting thank you any doubt brothers you, are clear brothers everything clear yes, sir any doubt to this sir laksha ishali asrita and no, manish so please kindly focus anything you can finish i think dpp 3 chapter chapter for second chapter first dpp is it completed are you all trying how many questions are there totally brothers 30 30 again 30 so at least can you able to solve 15 questions is it completed yes. how many questions you solve anybody above 15 rudresh sir asvita have you taken print out asvita Yes, sir. Okay. How many questions you solve? Twelve questions completed. Twelve only, yeah. Okay. Laksha, fourteen questions. Sir. Okay. We'll solve the many things. Anyhow, after this chapter over, we'll solve. So try to think over it and solve it. I don't think so. Manya and Samia, how many questions they solve? I cannot. I don't know. At least five questions have you solved. Also, you people not at all saying me. And initially, I don't know. So try to solve at least fifteen questions. Try. remaining questions and all once the chapter is over we will complete we will go with the practice and again around 10 days we will go with the regularly at least one hour practice with the first two chapters then only third chapter i will start okay so make it don't say the number simply for me i don't want any numbers i want improvement so sol logical mind is important without logical mind no use of studying the 11th and 12th class like if you want to be like a 10th class nothing will happen okay So thank you everybody we'll meet in tomorrow's class